What's up guys, we're back with another educational video and this week we're talking about fish oil and strength gains. But first, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel and leave a comment for the algorithm. So fish oil has typically been thought of as a health supplement and indeed there is some evidence that fish oil can improve your blood lipids, it can improve glycemic control and some other benefits and improve metabolic health. There's also some evidence that fish oil may have effects on muscle metabolism. So some studies have shown an increase in muscle protein synthesis, and they've also shown that two of the fatty acids in fish oil, EPA and DHA, may have an effect on inhibiting muscle protein degradation. And there are a few studies showing that fish oil may improve body composition and lean mass, although it's not a consistent effect from study to study. So this study wanted to look at 10 weeks of resistance training in the squat and bench press and see if fish oil supplementation could improve those and improve lean body mass. So each day the subjects got 4.5 grams of fish oil capsules that contained 2.3 grams of EPA and 1.6 grams of DHA. Now, if you wanna go look at your fish oil capsules, that's a pretty high dose. In fact, most fish oil supplements contain like two to 300 milligrams of EPA and DHA. So you'd need to take like 10 capsules to get what they're referring to. Now there are some high dose fish oil supplements that are out there. And so if you are gonna take fish oil, I do recommend trying to find something that has a really high dose of EPA and DHA because otherwise you're not really getting the benefits. So after 10 weeks, what they found was both the control and the fish oil supplement group had increases in their squat and bench press and lean body mass, and they had reductions in fat mass, but the fish oil group had a slightly higher increase in bench press maximum. Their squat increased more absolutely, but it wasn't statistically significant, although they did say there was uh, an improvement in their relative squat strength, which I believe is standardized to their lean mass. They also showed that there was a trend, p-value was 0.09. Some people would argue that's not worth talking about. Some people would say it is worth talking about. Either way, they saw a trend for a decrease in fat mass um, with the fish oil group compared to the control group as well. What are my take homes from this study? It's of reasonable value, but they didn't see increases in lean body mass. So the question becomes, where did this increase in strength come from? If it wasn't lean body mass, is fish oil doing something neuromuscularly? Or was there an increase in muscle mass that wasn't detected by lean mass? Because lean mass is all non-fat tissues, not just skeletal muscle. So theoretically, you could have no change in lean mass, but if skeletal muscle increased and another tissue decreased that was also a lean tissue, you wouldn't see a difference in lean mass, but you could still have a difference in skeletal muscle. So that is possible as well. But overall, I would say that I think fish oil is a relatively decent supplement to take. There's enough evidence in my mind that it's reasonable to add in. Is it gonna increase your one rep max strength and lean mass? I think that remains to be seen. I think we need a lot more studies before we can really uh, lay hard claim to that, but it certainly doesn't seem to have any negative effects and there may be other health benefits from it. All right guys, if you're looking for evidence-based supplements, make sure you check out my supplement company, Outwork Nutrition. Every single ingredient in our supplements is backed by clinical research papers and dosed appropriately and we are completely transparent about how much of each ingredient we use in our supplements and you can read all the research citations on our site for every single ingredient. Click the link in the description and go check it out.